Write molar technique intubations for small mouth opening, large tongue, when you need to make a straight line between the molar, between the teeth and the glottic opening. You can insert the, the Miller blade to the right side of the mouth, following the lower molars, and then follow the anatomy around until the blade starts to turn to the left on its own. Go ahead and sweep the blade over onto the second or third molar right, anchor it, anchor it in place with the next finger of the right hand, then perform a jaw thrust using the tip of the blade. Looking down the tip, looking down the barrel of the miller, until we get a partial glottic view, we're going to take the cute tip of the bougie, slide it through the barrel, and then turning it to the right as it exits the tip of the blade and into the glottic opening. Then to form the intubation, we're going to take the miller blade, leaving it in place, sweeping as much of the tongue to the left as possible, loading the bougie and inserting the tube. For the left molar technique, this is for the redundant airway, truly pickwickian, <laughs> collapsing tissue airway. We're going to use the, the Macintosh blade, inserting it from left to right at a 45 degree angle till the tip of the blade is resting in the piriform fossa. Again, we're going to take the, the flat counter of the blade, anchor it to the second to third molar using the index finger on the right hand, and then using two fingers in, or a finger and thumb. We're going to rotate the blade, rotate the handle around to 45 degree angle over the left shoulder, and then lift the tip of the blade. We've bifurcated the tongue, and we're now going to slip the bougie down through the bifurcation along the blade into the trachea. Once the bougie is well anchored, we will just load the tube, leaving the laryngoscope in place, and advance the tube into the trachea.